Hello and welcome to a tutorial for Open Computers. Today we want to show how you can send and receive redstone signals from a computer. For this we need either a redstone I.O. block or a redstone card. The redstone I.O. block can be placed in the world and be connected to a computer either directly or with a cable. The redstone card is placed in the computer directly. If the computer or the redstone I.O. block now has a redstone connection, we can send or receive signals in two different ways. The first option, which is primarily for quick usage in the console, works by entering RS followed by a side, in this case right. Other options would be left, top, bottom, front, back followed by the strength, which is in standard Minecraft a value between 0 and 15. And as we can see, a signal is emitted. If we only enter RS and the side, we can retrieve the strength of an incoming signal. If we want to use a mod that uses bundled cables, we can do this as well. We make a connection using bundled cables and now we can enter RS, the side, additionally we enter the parameter minus B and we have to enter as well the color, in this case red and the strength, in this case a value between 0 and 255. And as we can see a signal is sent. By setting the signal strength to zero, no signal is emitted. Another option that can be used in programs is to retrieve the component in Lua and to send and retrieve redstone signals with method calls. You can find more information about components in the wiki or in a separate tutorial. For this method, we save the component conveniently in the variable C. This is valid for both the redstone card and the redstone I.O. block. We can now with c.setOutput sides.write15 send a signal. The first parameter is a value between 0 and 5 or a value from the enum sides. The exact mapping can be found in the wiki or taken from the video description. An incoming signal can be measured by using c.getInput and the side. In this case the value is sides right, whereby the side, if a redstone card is used, is relative to the computer and if a redstone I.O. block is used, is a cardinal direction. If you want to send a redstone signal to a bundled cable, you can use the command c.setBundledOutput with the side, the color and the strength of the signal, whereby the side is again a value between 0 and 5 or a value of the enum sides, the color is a value between 0 and 15 or a value of the enum colors, the mapping can as well be retrieved from the wiki or from the video description. The strength is a number depending on the mod can take different values, in this case it can go up to 255. Analogously the strength of an incoming signal can be measured or the strength of the outgoing signal retrieved. The following redstone systems are supported, standard Minecraft, Red Logic, Project Red and Minefactory Reloaded. That sums it up for this time, thanks for watching, until next time.